Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Expert Expert Iron Man difficulty with the last province ahead of us. Drombach is uh, just ahead of us and today is going to be one of our typical exploration missions uh, where we are trying to find out what Do you is know going how on in Drumbach? I have to pay for each slave crossing the border. They won't let honest citizens work. This kingdom is going to hell in a handcart. I heard that the Eyes Reckoning did some damage in New Astle. I hope my family is all right. Cute mask. I'm going back to Drumbach to look for plague remedies. Tiltron's stock is dwindling. Do you really want to enter Alazar? Despite the eyes reckoning. All right. Sure. Suit yourselves. Send my regards to the Inquisition. Okay, apparently there are Inquisitors in Drombok, and maybe there are also a couple of uh, plagued ones. We're going to find out in a bit. Let's check the armor, in my way, which is level says. 11. That already gives you a relatively good indication what we're dealing with. So this year, by all regards, must be the highest level area. By the way, I haven't mentioned it, but I found out every single area does have a couple of secret doors. Uh, we got that one here in the Vertrus province. I just stumbled upon it. And I finally found out what the code, uh, codices are uh, being used for codex management. Because once you completely decipher them, they will give you the clue towards the symbol that they are quote unquote protecting. So after uh, the next tomb in this area, I think that I could get all of the secrets and the one that we got in the Vertrus area, uh, just to showcase uh, that, were a few trinkets, uh, purple ones. Uh, Hurun Sandbox, where all animal allies begin to uh, the start with inspiration, so they run ultra fast. Uh, if you were to run a bigger el uh, animal party, I think that would be great. And the other one gives Hunt of the Ancients, which is a skill that allows you to 100% capture an, uh, an uh, animal. So, also an interesting skill. So whilst we're up here, as always, gotta put the pythons in. So that we can climb up a little bit later. Good, and off we go. Winter landscape. I totally dig winter landscapes. I don't know about you, but this is a nice change of pace compared to the swamp landscapes that we had earlier okay so what's the problem here good sirs we were on our way to the border crossing when we saw the eyes reckoning strike these stables, I sent one of our companions to New Astel for help. But time is of the essence. Any survivors still under the rubble might suffocate if we were. You seem equipped for the task, mercenaries. Would you mind clearing the debris? Best get to it immediately. Okay, debris clearing it is. Luckily, we have a master miner in our ranks. I'm not a heretic, I swear. Don't hurt me. I'm not a heretic. I well, that's all. All there is? No. All right, we got a woodcutter, thankfully pervert, who is still with us to this very day. He is chipping away like an absolute pro. What have I done? What have I done to offend the god of... I hear soldiers. Come, mercenaries. Let's go greet them. The eye. 
Okay, strange place. Uh, one that is ridden by conflict. Apparently, uh, these guys were under the rubble and, of course, were being attacked. Like, that is common standard nowadays. I see the army didn't come alone. You couldn't help but follow. The eyes reckoning struck these stables. We are duty bound to inspect the place and make sure that no heretics survived. Move along. Everyone. Dead? Nonsense. You wouldn't call the Alazarian army to bury dead bodies. All right, these so. These men came to rescue injured people. Heretics? You know full well that the God of Light does not punish without cause. If you let them live, the Eyes Reckoning will strike again. They're not heretics. Mercenaries, you saw them, didn't you? Did those poor folks look like heathens? What they look like is irrelevant. The Eyes Reckoning does not smite innocence. Mercenaries, all believers have a duty to carry out the will of the God. Level 12, all right, so. We get the exact same reward, but we already sided with uh, the Altarian army, so let's vanquish the Inquisitors. And interestingly enough, we have level 12 enemies. Two fronts. Uh, I think we need a tank over here. And JP Pauly over here. Bear in the middle. Okay, that sounds like a decent strategy. Okay, so what are we going to do here? How about... How about giving you inspiration? Two, four, six over here. Two, four, six over there. Yeah, and I think we're okay. Let's start with that. Moves up over here. And we might be able to get one of those worshippers down ourselves. Okay, well, there is no question that we can do that. Weakening. Oh, that talent is so good. Engaging, disengaging, engaging, disengaging, and wow. His Krell is dealing. Damage like a true tank. Good, we'll take care of you guys in a second. For now, Pauly moves in. Vulnerability. There's no need for for more DPS over here. Tank and Polly just cleared out the entire area by themselves. Daily moves up. Solid hit. Yeah, we're done on that one side. Holy smokes. Four starters. 
Everybody here should have orderly. And now it's our time to retaliate. Should weaken him beforehand, but apparently... Yeah. It's just uh, the attacks of opportunity are not coming. A little bit unlucky roll, I think, this time. Good, moves up. Ah, Jim is taking a bit too much, well, oh, he's taking a lot of damage, but equally he's dishing out a lot of damage. Good, so that's one. That's two. Wow. A bit of first aid for good measure. And we're good. Yeah, the executioner and their uh, the executioner and their absolute hardcore damage uh, against multiple targets i think this is unrivaled um, in terms of clearing the battlefield but the other builds um, are okay i wonder if the harpenier is better or the whirlwind it seems like we're having not enough opportunities for the whirlwind yet, but before I come to a vested opinion, I want to have an enough fights. In some of the fights he just dealt a horrific, horrific amount of damage, and as soon as you have three enemies... It's a crazy amount of damage. But I think that happens not often enough. So far. All right, messenger. Hit. Disengage. Engage. Disengage. Engage. Disengage. And by the virtue of disengaging, he was felled. Triplet here, putting them nicely in range of one another. Oh, yeah. Oh. Solid hit for 200. Moves up here. Hits the guy. Kills him and we are... Off. We could heal Roby. I uh, could have maybe done that. Uh. 
Get rid of his stupid guard. Hit him. And we're moving to the front line. Yeah, not bad. Damage is okay. Not bad either. I think he deals okay amounts of damage. I mean, he just kill, killed two, so okay is very relative. And primarily he's supposed to generate Valor, so I'm actually okay with uh, how this is going. Level, elf, uh, level 11 armor, light armor, a lot of armor and movement, it's not bad, not bad at all. Thank you mercenaries, I'm grateful you didn't listen to those zealots lies. For weeks they've been burning and torturing those who dare survive the eyes reckoning, but nothing has changed. I don't know what angered the God of Light, but I doubt those poor swords have anything to do with it. Well, apparently there is yet another conflict and we're in the very middle of it. Let's see, we got a rat infestation down there and for the love of it, let's already place a python here. And whilst we're at it, let's place one here. I don't want to deal with rats now, but it's good to know that they are here. Needing to soon farm some of them for the oils, our pristine essences, which you get uh, from them are starting to become lower and lower but yeah for now we don't need that okay so apparently there are a couple of woods here wolves and so on and that looks like a quest camp Okay, so that's the Inquisition. Inquisitors do, uh, do what Inquisitors tend to do. Find people and burn them alive. reckoning is divine retribution an answer to the worst heresies it is the inquisition's duty to catch anyone who would dare escape it no matter where it happens the Ederanian church is watching okay that also now starts to make sense why they um why they follow the all c and i the pious flames help me folk walk in the light mercenaries and you will never have to fear the pyre. Yeah, we're not handing over a prisoner. The of drum back should be... Okay, apparently we can't do much here other than hand over prisoners so that they can torch them. 
Fun fact, in case you didn't know it, most people that were torched uh, did not die due to the flames, but due to suffocation. Because um, apparently standing on a massive fire uh, also requires a lot of oxygen, which you in return need to breathe. Good, so here is the other camp. You dare mercenaries! I've been studying the relics we collected, and I discovered that the ancients knew about the beast and its pack. They left enough instructions for me to create this. It's just a prototype, but the first tests were quite promising. Okay, so what did he give us? Offhand, ooh, nice. 5% critical damage. 5% critical hit and X throw skill. Was that? I very much hope it does not scale with strength. Always lands critical hits against the ghost pack, but the fact that that is an offhand weapon which has unlimited ammunition is so, so, so good. Um, after using Vela base skill, this unit, even if they are engaged, deals 22 damage to the farthest enemy within 6 meters. Oh, look at that. We're basically trading in an active skill for a passive one. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 available skills. So if we're using them... That should uh, result in quite a few extra hits. Nice, I like what I'm seeing. I purchased all of these fine goods in the heart of Ladern. They are most efficient, trust me. Okay, don't need any of that, but got a training color. Strength plus 10%, not really good. Feather color, also not needed. And the King's Feast. Movement speed in snow increased. True bonded movement speed increased. Crowns gained after each battle increased. Influence gained increased. Not bad. I would find it even more comprehensive if it would be an XP well, buff. Well, well, I am pleased to inform you that the same can be said of our research. Thanks to you and the relics found in the Luden tomb, our knowledge of the beast and the ghost pack has made great strides. The kingdom of Alazar no longer needs the trackers. We can now hunt the ghost pack on our own. You'll see that our methods are similar to what those... Okay, let the hunt begin. One more ghost pack. I mean, we have hunted the ghost pack often and it's kind of an ongoing quest line. But that's not the main quest, this is just an extra quest. I appreciate though that the offhand which we have been given is an absolute beast of an offhand. So I really like that one. Hired killers. Well, this is uh, this is because we were wanted, which is unfortunate. Uh, newbie mistake. So we will need to fight our way out of this. That'll be a a sizable fight. So we got to take this one here serious because they have r one round of reinforcements remaining. Okay, so how do we go about that? Are 
I think for starters, having four having four people with orderly is a great option. In the meantime, move up, remove guard, disengage, weaken, disengage, strike, disengage. Not bad for a start. I can see a, a sizable line all the way through here. I think we're going to do exactly that. One, two, three. Why can't we hit that guy as well? Okay, can't s oh wait, we can sprint through here. Wait, 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 wait. Apparently we could. Just need to find that one pixel where it was working. There we go. Okay, cool. To get rid of uh, the archers really quickly. So let's do a swift dispatch maneuver here. Good moves over, and we're continuing to double, uh, double hit. Don't need to heal yet, and we don't need Valor yet. So they need to cluster up a bit more. Weakening. Disengage. Smattering hammer. Disengage. Ah. Further weakening. Disengage. Okay, so far that worked out very well. Roby takes this front line here and we're letting them come a bit closer. hit taking him out for a few rounds 
and just moving over here so that we can get more valor points. Going to shoot both of you back. Breaking his Valor. Moving to here. And we're good. Okay, I was really afraid that we would be near death and needed to flee. Things are turning out to be working better than expected. Set up for fragility. One. Two. Oh, yeah. Three. Four. Five. Uh, let's weaken him just for good measure. And yeah, we can sprint out of it next turn. Or we're going to be shot out of it. Nope, we're ne we'll need to sprint out of it. Okay, I got an idea. How about you? Slow down and do not come anywhere close to us. And the other idea would be to double hit and uh, provide best friends. Cool. This guy and this guy. Okay, he's not yet engaged. So I wonder, we could potentially do something along the lines of charge over here. Move around that trap because I don't want to take extra damage. Good hit. And engage. Weakening. We don't have repost, but we're okay. This guy will take a lot of damage now. Yep, 100 points. Good, plenty of Valor back. Kill. Oh yeah. Keep on throwing those knives. And we're moving over here. Healing our tank. And uh, a bonus throw. And another bonus throw. 40 damage just to use the skill. Crazy, right? You will, just like your friend, not act. Oh. 
Ah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh. Okay. Sure, if, by the way, hit him because he had uh, the mark <clears throat> and the ball would have given us two Valor. Mm. Little improvement still. We need help here. Sprinting up. Bit of healing for good measure. Massive damage plus the mark. And I think we're okay. Yeah, these guys here <coughs> won't reach us. Missed. That's not good. That's one. And two. And three. And four. And five. Tanks start uh, to deal damage with that new strategy. Reinforcing the other flank. Disengage, further weaken, and we're in galvanizing territory. Good. Okay, new round is starting. Hundred and thirty. All right, rage, rage is crazy. If it builds up and you have lone wolf on top of it, it, it is something else. Yeah, I'll just heal. I don't want to shoot him out of melee. Don't care about that little bit of damage. But I, what I want to try is I would like to see if uh, that combination here works. Okay, well, the spear uh, plus bow combination definitely works well. And we have gotten, uh, every time this unit takes damage in close combat, return damage equal to 5% of their maximum arm. What? What? If this, uh, aggressive shielding, if this unit still has armor, they reflect 15% of the damage sustained to the attacker. Ooh. Okay, wait, 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 and wait again. That's actually quite good. So we do have a lot of armor, right? Currently, conforming shield helps us to deal more damage, but I, I want to give that a try. That sounds like a cool combination. So every time this unit takes damage in close combat, they return damage equal to 5% of the maximum armor. That would be 10 points of damage every time they get hit, just like that. Um, versus them dealing half of their guard, 30 plus 30 on, uh, two hit, uh, on every hit that we do or 10 passive. Well, we have a 50-50 on reposting. I think 
Well, it's not either or. It's not competing for the same slot. It's just additional. Oh yeah. And then, if this unit still has armor, they reflect 15% of the damage sustained to the attacker. Well, they are not taking a lot of damage, which means this might not be as good of a shield as I thought. This here still seems a bit better. And we're also not level 11, so doesn't matter. Whew. What a tight encounter. It's the first time uh, that uh, we were actually fighting guards. What do we have here? Polar bears? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, we did have the 100% catch, right? Right, right? Good, let's catch ourselves a polar bear and level 12. All right, that could be a big fat upgrade for Roby. Two thousand three hundred hit points. Are you absolutely out of your mind? Two thousand three hundred hit points. That's insane. Okay, we're getting fury stacks and he is getting ugh, rage stacks wow well that's not good let's push this guy back don't want to deal with multiple bears. Never mind, we have to deal with multiple bears. Let's move up here. Unfortunately, his rage makes our normal tactic of repost attacks a bit worse than it um, should be. Fully focusing on that one bear. And why are they attacking twice? Bears can only attack once. Good. Jim here is the one who can 100% a chance catch them there we go one of them down small extra hit
Boy, this is not going to be fun. You can already see they have way too much hit points. 2300. That's crazy. Even for the standards of this game here. Good, but on the other hand, it's only three of them. Never mind. Now we have four. Yet again. All right, Delhi hits. Shoots this guy away in the hope of it being so far away that it can't really come back we're switching sides making this guy weaker just don't want to let the rage build up well every time they get hit uh, they build up rage unfortunately Okay. Our lesson today I learned, polar bears are no joke. Did he just hit for 400 points of damage? Went berserk. Oh boy. Fragility into two hits. Into bloodshed. And sprint over. Plus a little bit of heal. And done. The lone wolf, how far is uh, that? No, okay. Decently far. That's actually a faster kill strategy than running through all of their hit points. Just capturing them. But anyway, we're just capturing the third one as well. Because then we can see if either of them has special traits. And we will release uh, them because I think three polar bears are just going to be too imbalanced. Okay, wow. Let's take a good look. What are we dealing with? We got one with enhanced vitality, so 
deals to the target two times if unit has more than eight uh, rage they gain a relentless after attacking this unit executes attacks of opportunity okay so you just want to build them up to rage if they have some more than 16 rage they go berserk so this guy here even as strong 513 constitution dismiss yes dismiss yes um this guy here is roby the white Companions approve. Uh, Roby, you have been a great bear. But your time has come and now we do have Roby Snow. Twelve. 14, 16, I'm not sure, are we sticking with 16 or are we doing 18? I think 18 was not bad, just the enormous speed. And then since any like small upgrade here wouldn't really do uh, much, all we want to do now is get willpower to 15 or 16 rather. And then increase potential critical hits. Wow. Eats the same. But holy shit, are they strong? I mean, could go and recruit more of them, but like I said, I think that would be too imbalanced. Any companion spending their rest next to this unit generates, that's not bad. Forces the target to engage and applies fragility. Okay, so gets an extra skill. I like it. If um, starting the battle on the mountain, this unit has galvanization like that strength and constitution increased this unit takes of opportunity ignore guard uh, I think this here overall is better when companions reach level 12 they can choose a bravery a skill that unlocks new strategies in battle make the most out of these skills as the usage is limited your troops can perform only one bravery per round each companion can use their bravery only once per battle adjacent units have immobile or 50 carry capacity um, yeah we're just going with that we don't need carry capacity anymore wow we're looking at 2300 hit points guys and he is clawing angrily clawing for a lot plus puts fragility on enemies forces the target to engage and applies fragility yeah come here good boy sit at the fire and just enjoy being awesome for a second good that's a good cliffhanger uh if you like polar bears as much as uh, the next guy then uh, leave a comment uh, down below uh, hashtag save the environment uh, and uh, i hope that my party uh, does not burn too much uh, firewood because of the CO2 emissions. Uh, th those are the thoughts around uh, venturing through a cold uh, environment. Thanks for watching and have a good one. See you in two days. Bye-bye.